Hello YouTube, it's Collector1, and welcome back to my playthrough of Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth. Yes, that's right. I finally have it, so we're going to be playing this game. It's so exciting. Hopefully you've seen hopefully you've seen the last episode of this series. If you haven't, I will provide a link somewhere, probably down below. But yeah, let's get last time, well, let's continue. Last time we built our starting city, and most of the people have landed on the surface of the planet. Actually, I think all of them have by now. Oh, that scared me. <sighs> you can go out and explore now. Go explore. Um, so yeah, we built this city, and we got some units underway and stuff like that. We sponsored some colonies, found some satellites, a whole bunch of stuff. Brazil's going to be our first rival. Hopefully, maybe we can get uh, the Pan-Asian corp er, Corporation, or Pan- I get Pan-American- Crap. I get the American Reclamation Corporation and the Pan-Asian Cooperative mixed. I keep switching cooperative and cooperation, or er, corporation. So hopefully they can help us wipe out Brazil eventually, because I don't want them to get this area, because this is where my next city is going to go. So, yeah. Let's continue on to our next turn. I see that you have found value in the alien life on this planet, as have we. Let us continue working together to shepherd these fascinating creatures and learn from them. Thank you, CEO Suzanne Fielding of the American Reclamation Corpora er, Corporation. She seems nice. Perfect. Our city stopped growing at capac er stopped growing at present, which is great. Where are you going, Brazil Brazil or Brasilia? That's what I thought. Aliens detected. Yeah, they'll they'll be all right. Just calm down. They're not going to kill you. They're not hostile to us. We discovered Camp Cascade, which provides plus two food and plus two energy to any civilization or any city that establishes a trade route. One city per colony can go at a time, blah, 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 blah. We're all right. And we have a quest decision. When we came to this planet, we brought a number of plants from Old Earth. Somehow, one of these plants has taken taken root outside of the outside of Karabrost and turned invasive. If left unchecked, it could convert the local environment into a more Earth-like ecosystem. Whether or not this is, that is a good thing is what must be decided. If we contain the outbreak, we gain harmony. If we ignore it, then we continue on to purity and supremacy. And I'm going to ignore it just because I don't want to do harmony. And we finish that, so we gain 35 culture. And we now can develop another virtue. So last time we developed these. So I'm going to start with industry, just because we need to get some of that underway. Next turn. Curious as to what Brazil is doing. My friend, would you be willing to enter a cooperation agreement? My hope is that we can build a long-lasting partnership between our two colonies. Yes, let's do that. Notice no one on my continent wants to do this. Okay, he built an energy thing, or an energy collector, so we now have even more energy pouring into our colony, which is good. Can never have too much energy. Okay, here is another quest decision. 
The invasive plant has begun to spread, eliminating other resources from surrounding lands. However, the species has shown to be a great potential crop, as it grows faster and larger than it ever did on, Earth, on Old Earth. wonder what crop it is. Maybe corn? Soybeans? I was trying to think of agricultural stuff. Rice? Nothing else comes to mind. Ooh, potatoes. Anyway, stop thinking about food. Um, our scientists believe that through low-level genetic modification, we could, this plant could be made to serve as either food or energy. We must simply decide which is more beneficial. We can do food crops and gain purity, or we can gain supremacy and get energy. Energy is always a good thing, so I think I'm going to be a supremacist. Not a white supremacist, though. We have discovered Far Base 1, which provides plus 2 energy and plus 2 science to any city that establishes a trade route. You're not on my continent either, but sure. As you will. As you will. Anyway, that's fine. You need orders. Go down here and fix this farm. Because that siege worm destroyed my worker. Stay out of there, Brazil. Once this satellite falls out of orbit, I'm going to build a um, miasmic repulsor and get rid of all this miasma around here. To figure out what I'm going to build next. Probably go over here and build more on this fruit, this strange alien fruit. And here is yet another quest decision. Earth's pharmaceutical industry was at its peak during the 21st century, yes it is. While the drugs of that time were severely limited in ability, they did open our mind to the full potential of pharmaceuticals. Now that our pharma lab is functional, our technology has finally caught up with that potential. We just have to decide how best to utilize it. Enhanced function or life extension. If we focus on extend enhancing body function, that will give us plus one science from pharma lab, but if we focus on life extension, that will give us plus one health. And health is more important, I think. So, yeah. Stagnation growth. Food. Biofactories. Biology. We can get domes. It's 87 turns, though. Holy crap. It's 87 years. I think we'll have to go with a sub one beneath that. Because it's easier if you have the two branching technologies, because it like makes more sense, I guess. Like computing and robotics are 43, just because it it's closer to what it is. <laughs> Geothermal. You also go to terraforming. Cannot coexist with miasma. Guy and Well. Those are actually kind of cool. In my American Reclamation Corporation, I did play through, again, that's not on YouTube, just reminding you. Um, I actually think I'm going to go for geophysics just so we can get some geothermal on the map first. Um, I went after purity. Or, yeah, the purity affinity, just because I liked that a little bit better. So, yeah, return to map. Next turn. Hurry up, colonist. I need you. We need to go get that territory for, before Priscilla does. Hopefully they're working on other things. Hopefully. If not, I'm going to be mad. OK, 
Okay. We're done with this. Whoa, what happened up here? No! You can find an outpost with your yeah, 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 yeah. Why are you attacking me? Is there a nest nearby, or are you just being rude? I don't see a nest nearby. Run away, then. Someone's not being very nice to the life forms on this planet. Anyway, here is our giant tank-like city, which we'll establish when we get down there. So now that we're done with that... There's other satellites still in orbit. I think we'll do... Let's get our trade going. Yeah, I think we're good on energy and health for right now. So let's do a trade depot. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Change production. Let's do an ultrasonic fence first. Actually, let me go ahead and add this to the queue. I like that this isn't a thing that you have to g change in the menu setting. It's already pre-activated. And then build a trade depot after that. And then return a map. I'm pleased that you have resisted targeting the alien life on this planet for destruction. They are valuable creatures and we must ensure their preservation. Yeah, for now. Okay, you're good with that. Oh, we're back to build, or we're back in positive areas for... I think I'm going to build another energy generator right here. Heal. I'm going to go on this tile right here just because it's closer to all the energy resources I want. Build a generator. I see you have found the alien life on this planet. Found value. Let's work together to shepherd these fascinating creatures and learn from them. All right, you're about to get mad at me, though. Slavic colonist. Deorbit imminent. Our energy satellite will deorbit in five turns. Received a new soldier. Perfect! We now, this isn't a city yet, so we don't. it doesn't grow, but it does take energy for it to grow. This is a colony and if left undefended it can be easily destroyed and so all before for it to turn into a city all tiles around it need to be under its control but right now it only has one so we'll continue with that but in the meantime we have a quest decision the augmented which are people that we let into our society from uh, from the previous episode um Yeah, we let them join our civilization, and it increased our affinity towards uh, purity and augmentation, or purity and supremacy. So the augmented have in integrated into our culture, sharing their knowledge of organ replacement and artificial limbs. Our society stands at a crossroads. Do we continue to their research and application of augmentation, or do we seek to restore the augmented to their lost organic humanity? If we continue the research, we gain supremacy, and if we restore their humanity, we gain purity. Now, in my American Reclamation Corporation, I did purity, so I think I'm going to do supremacy just to try something different. So we're going to continue their research. Yeah, that's not a good deal. I'm not giving you three energy of mine per turn. 
she's always like this, because even in even in my other playthrough, she was just like, yeah. One of your orbital units is nearing the end of its life. Yes, I know. Yeah, soon you won't tell me that every time, because that alien will be kicked off of this square. He just keeps going back and forth, I don't know why. I'm also not going to automate my workers like you would normally do, because then they build farms and then your health and stuff gets way out of control. I'm going to come over here and have him start working on stuff for our new city, actually. See, our city's growing quite nicely. For geophysics, I'm going to allow it to build a barge so we can get some food from this algae for this city. If I haven't said this enough already, I'm in love with this game. It's literally amazing. Continue your exploration. Next turn. Work on this titanium first. No village was ever ruined by trade. This deal strengthened our two nations. Shall we renew it and continue our shared prosperity? Sure. What a son. By the way, this video is back to normal length, so it'll be 30 to 35 minutes, depending on how. Long. Well, probably closer to 30 minutes. So, that mining, or that extra hour long thing was just, just because. Aliens detected near Krabrost. Wait, I know Russian. Why am I not saying these words right? Krabrost. H is silent, so... Krabrost. Krabrost! Welcome to the city... Uh, welcome to the Slavic Federation city of Krabrost. Just kidding. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look, 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 look. A sea dragon. Cool. Ha! Our capital has grown into a bustling city. It may be time to build a colonist to found an outpost. We already built one. Moron. We actually need to stagnate our growth, just because that's going to be bad. It'll it'll stop itself in time. Ooh, alien nest. No wonder they attacked me before. Sorry, aliens. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I'll move away just to show I'm not a threat. Yet you still attack me anyway. 
rude. And this city is now alive and powerful. And we now have this. Go and get whatever is on this tile. Actually, no, I don't have floatstone mines yet. Crap. Need a tile for energy. Or yeah, this is going to be a more production-based city. Build an old earth relic. Couldn't help but notice that you seem to be expanding into lands which I regard to be mine. Yeah, I'm sure, but we are in close proximity. I request that you reconsider this. Our apologies, we will refrain from settling near you in the future. Yes. Excellent, I hope we will continue to find common ground. Yes. Me too, and I hope that Pan America and I box you in and you can only settle right up there. Hopefully. What technology do we need? Terraforming for floatstone quarries. Well, shoot. really don't want our workers to build any farms or anything just because it'll make the energy go down again. Oh wait, fortunately we're about to get a policy though so I can get like increased... Oh wait, now there's no increased health policy. Shoot. Please be geophysics somewhere in my land. Le commerce fonctionne quand on comprend l'autre. Simply regret these circumstances, but I must ask you for your assistance. You want... you're going to trade me a favor for three titanium. I'm going to have to refuse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm... I know. I'm... I'm sorry. Okay. city for a second. Choose production. Build a cider nursery because we need energy for health, not energy. I'm going to keep doing that. Sure. We agree, my child. Not your child. Oh well. We. Oui. The dust of a dying world must listen to the stones of a living one. So we now have geophysics, which will reveal geothermal energy on the map and allow us to build geothermal wells, which create energy sources. Unfortunately... Perfect. Perfect. Now I don't have to use this thing for... This is a great tile, actually. I'm glad I built this city. I'm gonna have to defend it at all costs now. Research! And we'll get Planetary Survey too, just so I can get the algae. Actually, clear miasma, workers are immune to miasma, gunboat, spy agency. Eh, we'll get that soon. We'll do. We'll do planetary survey and then power systems and then computing. Okay, production. Build a... Th 
build a pharma lab right now. You need to get the health back up. Okay, we can now build plus one energy from plus five energy in the capital, plus 15 production towards workers, plus 0.25 culture for every population, plus 30 from finishing science, plus 30% speed towards outposts, plus 15% production towards military units, and plus 25% range strength against alien life forms. Well, ooh, or explorer units can build three additional expeditions. Not yet for that one. Let's do... Let's do central planning. Ooh, and we get a free virtue, too. Perfect. That was our reward for getting five. It's a synergy bonus. And the next one is plus fifteen or er, plus ten production and plus ten energy in the capital. So let's start on that one immediately. Social moors. Finishing expeditions. Let's go ahead and do this one. Just so that way our future explorers can get stuff. Again, I'm not giving you energy. I'm sorry. Venga, volvamos los más ricos. Uh, yet, yet. Stupid Brazilians. They think they can boss around Mother Russia. They have another thing coming. Build a geothermal well. Perfect. I'm so glad this worked out. This is just going to be an amazing city. No, not a seed worm. more military units. Oh wait, no, we got, we have two. We'll still, we'll still need more though, because Brazil is probably definitely going to attack. Next turn. Next turn again. Planetary survey, apparently the woman didn't record this one. All planets possess inherent values and establishing the exact dollar value of a property should be a priority. I agree, Suzanne Fielding. Work barge. Helpful. And our units can now embark. Thank you, planetary survey. We have discovered La, L La, Lib Lib La, La Libella, that's what we're going to call it. Lalabella provides plus four culture to any city that establishes a trade route. Perfect. Again, no use to us. Crab roast. Oof, seed worms. Yuck. Build. Build me a soul. Build me a ranger. See, I don't trust Brazil. He has two work warriors right over here. I just know from previous games. There's there's our there's a wonder we can build Panopticon. But we're going to build power systems, I think, because that'll give us more energy. We like energy. I 
unfortunately he's kind of in a bottleneck for this. He'll have to come this way one unit at a time, or this way several units at a time. But he can only do one if he wants to take this city. Okay, we now have our geothermal well right there. That gives us more energy. And route to mode. Mag rails to the selected tile. Mag rail will come handy come in handy later. There's nothing really that I want to do right now. Next turn. He's building up military forces, but so am I. Build me more energy. I'm sorry, I just require a lot of energy. I don't want... I'm paranoid because I played that game... played my one game where I didn't do so well. Built a ranger. Now build me... Ooh, there's more buildings you can build. We'll build one of those later, though. Build me a combat rover. Ranger, you go down here. Oh, gosh. Discover Fort Barca. Plus two energy and plus two production. Rude. Okay, choose production. Build a clinic. And one quest decision. And that's we're going to end our this episode. The stewards at our Saito nursery are reporting a monumental discovery. Through the study and hybridization of the indigenous fauna, we've managed to create a bioorganic mesh, which mimics their cellular division. Integrating the mesh into our production would speed things along tremendously. It unfortunately takes a rather long time to create, so there's only so much to go around. We'll have to describe, or we'll have to decide how best to dis distribute it. We can distribute it to unit production, and we can have plus one production for military units, or plus one production to cities. I'm going to do it to unit production. Just because. And that's going to be it for this episode of Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and describe. Comment and... S not describe. Subscribe. Down below. And... I hope you will come back next time for Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth. I'm Killvector1, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.